Are you afraid of spiders? If you are, you're not alone, as arachnophobia is the most common animal-related fear in the world. However, what if I told you that there is a spider, a giant tarantula no less, whose incredible story could change everything you thought you knew about these animals, and may even cure your arachnophobia forever? If this sounds far-fetched, just keep watching, because this is one spider that you need to see to believe. It's not hard to see why so many people fear spiders. Their spindly legs, giant venomous fangs, and creepy alien-like appearance make these arachnids hard for us to relate to. Not to mention downright terrifying if you come face to face with one unexpectedly. But ask yourself this, have you ever actually seen a spider try to hurt someone? The truth is, most people only fear these animals because they don't know what the spider in front of them will do next or if it can hurt them. And that's totally valid. But this really comes down to a misunderstanding of their behavior, and I think once you get to know them, you'll see that spiders are a lot different than how we imagine them. My name is Evan, and this is Harrison. We're twin brothers on a mission to help you become an insider in the natural world. Sharing the real-life stories of animals that many people fear is one of the biggest reasons we started this channel. And our target tonight is a spider so beautiful and unique that we believe that it could change the minds of even the most extreme arachnophobe, the Purple Bloom Bird Eater. These tarantulas are extremely rare, and since they only exist in the tropical dry forests of western Ecuador, finding one is no easy task. But luckily, we didn't have to take on this challenge alone. We're joined by some exceptionally talented wildlife educators and close friends who we'd been traveling the country with. But this whole mission would not have been possible without the help of our incredible guide and local expert, Juan de Dios Morales. Juan's breathtaking knowledge of the dry forest and special permissions to explore it gave us unprecedented access to places that almost no one else gets to see, and he guided us to a secret ridge where these giant spiders are rumored to live. As soon as we arrived, we realized that this was more than just a legend. We were seeing dozens of huge tarantulas on the move, but no sign of the elusive purple gem we were after. We spent hours scouring the mountainside to no avail, but just as we began reluctantly making our way back down the ridge, Rex called out that he spotted exactly what we were looking for tucked deep under a pile of rocks. They got purple. No, it's under this one. This boulder's movable. Let's move it. Yeah, there it is. Let me see if I can take it out. Oh, oh that's wow. beautiful. <laughs> wow. Nope. Is that rock? Okay. We got her. Yeah. Not quite. Don't panic, don't panic. Just you got no, it. You got it. Put her over here. Yep. And we'll move this one. Yeah, nice and gentle. Yep. Nice and gentle. Don't Indeed. pressure. Indeed. Just scoop her up under the lid. Get her under the lid and just scoop it up. One, two. Got her. Got him. Yeah, yeah there, there we go. go. Nice work, guys. Good team effort. Yeah. Let me make Look sure none that. of her legs are. Yeah, she's good. She's good. Excellent you work, wanna... guys. Awesome <laughs> work. Then. I honestly can't contain my excitement right now. This is easily the most beautiful spider I think I've ever seen in my entire life. Same. Now, what we really want to show is that this is not an aggressive animal. This is not an angry animal. All she is very likely is scared. But right now, she actually seems more evasive than defensive. Wouldn't you say, Spencer? Yeah. Yeah, she is very, very evasive. And she's putting out some really crazy speed we've seen when she does attempt to flee, um, but as you can see right there, not something that actually wants to do us any harm. Certainly not. Because she's very scared. I mean, look at the size of us compared to the spider. Sure, I'll wager that's a pretty big spider, but to her, this might be a predation event. She is honestly a little bit frightened for her life, and you know, as long as they don't put any excess pressure on her or anything, she won't bite or really angrily flick her hairs or anything. She is basically doing what we're doing sort of figuring this interaction out, seeing how the others in the interaction behave, and ultimately she wants to get back out in this jungle to go into her burrow or hunt insects and amphibians for the night. You know, as you can see right here, there you go. not at all a mean animal. 
Certainly not. This is not a spider that wants to hurt us. If she were interested in biting us, if she were interested in causing us real harm, she would have done so long ago and then she would have been on her way back into the forest. This is a gentle animal. This is a special animal that I feel incredibly fortunate to be able to see it all. Really to get our target of the night is so, so exciting. You can see right here, these quote unquote fearsome spiders. That's right. Are not monsters. No, in fact, they're beautiful animals, and as Spencer is fond of saying, they're just simple creatures trying to make their way in the universe, and we're gonna let her do exactly that. This is truly one of the most incredible experiences I've had on this trip and probably in my whole life. So clearly we're excited about this tarantula, but I get the sense that us just nerding out about how gentle he is isn't gonna cut it if you're really afraid of spiders. If I had to guess, what you might be wondering is, why? Why the giant legs? Why the hairy body? And what is with those fangs? Let's start with their size. Tarantulas are big spiders, but there's a good reason for that. Their prey is really big too. Think about it. This guy would be eating things like beetles, moths, lizards, and frogs that are almost as large as he is for pretty much every meal. If you had to catch every piece of food you ate, as it's trying desperately to escape from you, and each one was your own size, you would want a powerful body too. That's also where their venom comes in. Some of these prey species can actually do considerable damage to the spider if he's not careful, and they're often much faster than the tarantula itself. So, having a strong venom to quickly immobilize their victim is the best way for the spider to increase their odds of actually getting a meal. And that's fair enough, isn't it? Also, you'll be happy to hear that the venom of this species is not dangerous to people. It would be quite painful if we were to take a bite, but it wouldn't cause any lasting damage, and it doesn't seem likely that he will even try to bite at all. Now, what's fascinating is, the taxonomy of these animals is currently, there we go, unresolved. It's very hard to tell which species is which with tarantulas because there's not a lot of study, right, Rex? There is not. Many species of tarantulas around the world are undescribed, and they may have the same common name. For example, some may know this tarantula as the purple bloom or the purple bloom bird eater or the Ecuadorian bird eater. But there's a lot of different spider species called that, and most of them don't actually have a species name. So the work that we're doing here, bringing these tarantulas to the forefront, giving them some time in the spotlight, and actually trying to understand which individual species are out here is viable scientific work that needs to be done. And unfortunately, as we've talked about, tarantulas don't get a lot of appreciation, but you can't not be impressed with a spider this large, this gentle, and this absolutely stunning. So we are all thrilled, Rex. Thank you for spotting this individual. We could not pass up the opportunity to share what I think is now my favorite spider in the world. Of course, I have to agree, this is by far the most amazing spider I've ever encountered, and I cannot believe we got to see one tonight. This is so cool. It is very likely that this tarantula is actually a new species to science, so it's really exciting for us to get to work with this guy because there is so much that we don't know about their lives. We have learned some things about them though, and one feature that he shares with other tarantulas that freaks a lot of people out is all his hair. And while I grant that it can be pretty creepy looking, once again, this adaptation serves a really important function. These hairs aren't like ours at all. They're actually specialized sensory organs called seedy, and they are the main tools that tarantulas use to understand the world around them. These spiders have relatively weak vision and hearing, but their sense of touch is incredibly powerful, and their CD allow them to sense even the tiniest vibrations on the ground or in the air, allowing tarantulas to track their prey, avoid predators, and find each other when it comes time to mate. These CD also have another use, as the hairs on their abdomen are known as urticating hairs, which the spider can kick off if they feel threatened to cause itching, irritation, and even damage to the eyes of any would-be attacker. The purple bloom's hairs give it some of the most beautiful coloration of any spider in the world. And even this feature has a vital purpose. Only the male purple blooms have this unforgettable pattern, and though we don't know exactly why they've evolved such striking colors, the leading hypothesis is that the females actually prefer to mate with the brightest purple males in a display of what's known as sexual selection. 
Richer colors indicate that the spider is healthier, gets enough food, and has good genetics. All very important considerations for a female to make when they're choosing a partner, because it takes a lot of energy for her to produce offspring. All of this just goes to show that even the things that scare us most in nature all have really clear reasons to exist. And this spider's fangs, hairs, and size are not weapons meant to hurt us. They're the tools that he relies on to survive in a very challenging world. It is time now to get this beautiful animal back exactly where we found her. As Spencer pointed out, this is a gem of the Ecuadorian wilderness. Not an animal that gets nearly enough appreciation, but one thing we want to emphasize as we are letting her go is that that is probably the most important thing we can do. We've talked about the fact that the dry forest here in Ecuador is an extremely threatened habitat, and so too are almost all of the animals that live here. So we have an incredible privilege to work with these animals here tonight, but it is extremely important that we put them back exactly where we found Absolutely. them. Do not remove them from the wild. They don't need to be kept as pets. And unfortunately, there is a lot of illegal activity that occurs where people will remove these animals from the wild. And we want to make sure that in this case, we're getting this spider exactly back right where we found her under this pile of rocks. This has truly been one of the most incredible encounters we could have had. I'm so happy we actually got our target beautiful purple tarantula. And as promised, she will go right back into her hole where she can continue hunting and hopefully live a nice long life out here in Ecuador in the wild where she belongs. There we go. Tarantulas are a hard group of animals to appreciate even among spiders. There's just something about their intimidating size and unfamiliar appearance that's tough for people to look past. In our experience, though, the key to getting over fear is understanding, because once you know why an animal looks the way it does and why it has certain features, it becomes a lot less sinister. These animals are just trying to make a living for themselves in the only way they know how, and in that respect, they're no different than us. It's this kind of insider understanding that can really help push past fear. And once you do, I bet you'll find that the world is a much more exciting and fascinating place to explore. And look, if you're still uneasy about spiders, I get it. Truly conquering a fear isn't necessarily something that happens in the span of a couple minute video. But hopefully this can serve as a reminder that all animals, even the scary ones, are deserving of respect and appreciation, because the bottom line is that the world would be a lot worse off without them. If you want to continue exploring the dry forest and meet some of its strangest and coolest residents, check out this video where we get way off the beaten trail to find some incredible jungle creatures. And with that, we hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a look at this. Oh, 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 it's fast. Hi, buddy. Or maybe not. Never mind. You can't have a look at it. It's gone. Never mind. <laughs>